Hi, I'm Stephanie Stanton with Mahalo.com. You know, infertility isn't just a woman's problem. Sometimes the man can be the culprit. And joining us now is Dr. John Jane to talk a little bit more about how to diagnose male infertility. Yeah, it's important. You know, it takes two to create a baby. Um, just because a man is ejaculating fluid doesn't mean he's actually ejaculating sperm. You know, we've always heard uh, the statement, I might be shooting blanks. That could be true. Um, the semen analysis is the main test of male fertility. It's done microscopically, and what we do is uh, evaluate the semen for three major parameters. One is the count, and we want to see about 20 million sperm per milliliter. The second is the motility, or how they swim. And they have to swim in a forward direction. The ones that swim in circles are just not going to get it done. And so we want to see about 50% normal motility. And the final parameter is the shape. We call that morphology. And we want to see about 14 to 35% have normal shape. If those are all intact, then most likely the guy is fertile. Now, is the male fertility test something we should do at the beginning of the process, or should we wait until the woman is evaluated? This is a really important point, Stephanie. Men are part of the fertility problem 50% of the time. So mm -hmm. it makes sense to start with both the, the female partner and the male partner at the inception. All right, Dr. John Jane, thank you so much. Men, don't be shy. Get your fertility tested. Absolutely. And if you'd like more information about any of these topics, just go ahead and click on these links, or you can subscribe to Mahalo Parenting. I'm Stephanie Stanton. Thanks for watching.